All right, let's take a look at this uh, guy right here. We're going to go ahead and solve one step inequalities. Um, and once we solve it, we want to go ahead and give the solution in both interval and in graph form. So these guys are pretty quick here. Um, so we just think of this inequality as an equal sign. And again, the word uh, inequality just means not equal. So we're saying that something is either greater or less than. We're saying that x minus 30 is greater than or equal to 7. Um, so in maybe one case it could be equal, but in most other cases we want it to be greater than. So the way that we do it, so we solve this the same way as if it was an equal sign. So we're going to go ahead and add 3 to both sides. And uh, so we cross that guy out and we have x is greater than or equal to 10. Alright, um, so we want to give it an um, interval notation. So the way that this is written in an in interval is as so. So we say that x is greater than or equal to 10, meaning it starts at 10, it starts at 10, and then it's going to go on forever to, to infinity. So this is what the, the interval no notation looks like. And let me just show you what it looks like on a number line, and that's probably going to make a little more sense of where this guy comes from. So if we have a number line right here, um, and I'm just going to say this is 0, and uh, this is going to be 10. So check this out. It starts at 10. I'm going to have a bracket, and then it goes on for infinity. All right, so let me just explain you know, what I've done here. So I have both my answer in um, interval notation and in graphing form. This right here, this answer says x is greater than or equal to 10 x is greater than or equal to 10. So that means it could start at 10 and it goes up to 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, which is why we use bracket 10. Again, we use brackets to mean that it is included. Okay, so uh, the bracket means that the 10 is included. We use parentheses means when the number is not included. Now we can't include infinity because the actual number infinity doesn't exist. It, it's just a it's a symbol that we use to, to represent numbers that keep going. So um, you just need to get used to any time that you're going to use infinity, we're always going to use a parenthesis. So that's um, interval, interval notation. And what this is telling us on the graph is it starts at 10. That's why we have a bracket, and it goes on forever to the right. So those are the two ways that we wanted to see that there. Coming over here, we want to go ahead and solve this guy. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this right here. My computer's kind of lagging there. Uh, so we want to get rid of the negative 3 force. So I'm going to multiply it by its reciprocal, uh, which is negative 4 thirds. So I'm going to multiply both sides by its reciprocal, negative 4 thirds. And what happens is the fours cancel and the threes cancel and so those are all gone so we're left with just x and uh, one important rule that's so easy to forget and it gets incorrect answers is we need to flip the inequality anytime that you multiply or divide by a negative number so like we just did right now see how we multiply by a negative four thirds a negative four thirds if you multiply or divide by a negative number you flip the inequality so this is going to go from a greater than to a less than or equal to. All right. And uh, the 3 goes into 30 uh, 10 times. So 10 times negative 4 is negative 40. Okay. So the answer in interval notation, again, this means x is less than negative 40. Oh, well, numbers that are less than negative 40 is negative infinity. So it starts from negative infinity, and it goes on to negative 40 bracket and, and maybe you want to start with the graph I mean maybe the graph makes a little more sense before you straight go into the interval notation so if you had your graph right here I'm just gonna say this is uh, negative 40 right here it says X is less than negative 40 so you start at negative 40 and it goes that way so the left position of our Interval notation is always the left furthest number or the smallest number, which is negative infinity out here. And then the biggest number it goes to is negative 40 with a bracket.